Hi, this is Frank from Tech Edify, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can schedule Google Meeting. Google Meet is one of the top cloud based video conferencing platform that can help you to organize, run, or host a real time online meeting section for lectures, staff collaboration, or teamwork. You can use the web or even download the Google Meet app from Play Store or App Store to run and host this meeting. Now, let's get started. Okay, now to start scheduling a meeting in Google Meet, uh, probably you need to have a Gmail account. So if you have a Gmail account, you can just simply log in or head towards to your browser and type Google Meet. So just search Google Meet. You see Google Meet, an online video course, meetings and conferencing. So just click on the first link here to get started. So when you click on the first thing here, actually I've already logged in. So if you check from the top here, you can see my account login. So if you've not logged in, you have to click on join or login to see. So as you can see, I've already logged in and this is my Google Meet dashboard. So over here we have a new meeting. So the new meeting can help you to schedule a meeting. And then we also have the enter a code or a link. It means that if you are already scheduled a meeting, you can put in the meeting link here to join. So Let's first of all create or schedule a meeting and then we'll see how it goes. So I'll just click on the new meeting tab. So when you click on the new meeting, we have three ways that you can schedule a meeting. We have create a meeting for later. That means you want to create a meeting that you later join or maybe start. And then this one is to create an instant meeting. The instant meeting can help you just to create a meeting for a section. So after it has ended, that's it. And then this is to schedule in Google Calendar. So this is what we are going to do to schedule a meeting that we can use later. So I'll just click on the schedule. Uh, from here, we have what we call the title. So what, was, what will be the title of the meeting that you want to create? So you put in the title. So let's assume maybe the title you want to use here is uh, maybe uh, annual general meeting. So I'll just put annual general meeting there. So that's my title, my meeting, my meeting title. And over here we have the date. So you choose the day that you want the meeting to begin. So we have a, a calendar here so I can click on and then maybe I want to start the meeting 26. So I'll just pick 26 and then the time from and then the two. So you can check the starting time and then the ending time. So let's assume maybe you want to start around one o'clock and then we want to end around maybe 2 30. okay so for the time zone you can forget about it or you want to change your time zone from here okay so now we have here we'll call it all day all day means if the meeting is just happening on just 26 so you can just choose 26 and then it's that is from 26 to 26 that means there's no time set for it and then here is to use when you want to repeat the meeting whether it's a recurring meeting whether it's daily or weekly on thursday or whatever depending on the type of meeting if it's a meeting that you uh, normally happens reoccurring you can just uh, choose from here so i won't specify anything here because it's just a one day meeting so i'll just leave it there now when you come here this is the link that you are going to share with people that are going to join the meeting so at the end of the day you need to copy this link and share it with your participant or those who are going to join and you can take up to 30 guests so this meeting can take almost 30 guests if you want to extend the guest or the participant you need to uh, sign up to the google workspace whereby you can have very maximum number of participants that they can join now we have a location if you want to include the location of the meeting you can add a location and this one shows a notification that means to notify uh, 30 minutes before the meeting starts so you can just set out a notification time here and then when you come down we have for uh, description of the meeting so if you want to put in a description any description that you want to put in here you can just add it even add attachment if possible you want to add an attachment so let me put in some description here then we'll move on so over here my 
description says a meeting about the plans to build up the company actually it's a it's a sample data so you're going to put in your real data here uh, one thing is that you can even format some of the text here so maybe i want to bold it okay so when you check on the right side you see guests so if you want to include guests that means you need to have their email so supposing the meeting is for staffs probably you have all your staffs uh contact on your mail which you can add them manually but um as you can see you can just share the link and then anybody with this link can join yes depending on the type of meeting that you want if it's strictly for staff then probably you need to add all the guests so from here what i'll do is that i'll just click on the save here to save my meeting so i've scheduled a meeting so on the 26th if you check from the google calendar on the 26th this is the meeting that i've scheduled actually this is to help you in google calendar which can keep you notify so when you click on it you will see the details of the meeting you can copy the link here that is if people want to join it you can share this link with others if you want to edit the meeting or the events that we just added you can just click on edit event to make changes to it maybe if you realize there was a mistake in there but make sure when you are done you click on save yes so you click on save that's how you can edit the meeting if you want to delete it you can click here and then if you want to email the event details to others you can just click on this so that's how you can schedule a meeting now let's see how to join the meeting so i'll just go back to my google meet here so before then let's copy the meeting link first so this is the meeting link so i'll just select this is the meeting link i'll copy it so if you are the host probably you will have to start the meeting first before others can join so um if i'm a host then i will put in the code here so we have the we have the link here so if i click on join it means i'm starting the meeting because i'm the host so let's see how to join so you click on the join and then automatically so it's getting ready as you see here so i'll just click on a join now so when you click on the join this is how the interface is anyone that comes you see them over here this is the participants you can see it's only one person that is myself here okay so let me just explain what you are seeing down here so we have the microphone this is to turn off or on your microphone so maybe during the meeting you want to someone is talking you want to turn off your microphone you can click on it this is to turn off your camera if you are using a camera you don't want people to view or watch you you can just turn it off so that is it and then this is to what to turn on captions if you want to allow captions to show there you can just allow captions so the caption is whatever you be you be saying will be or it will be typed on the screen for you so i just just turn it off and this is to raise hands maybe you want to ask a question or you have something to say you can just raise it and these are to send some reactions maybe whilst the meeting is going you want to send some uh, emojis or reactions you can just pick it from any one of these and now this one is to share or present now the present now can help you share a screen so when you click on this one you see more options and that the more options we have the white board maybe you want to be writing on a whiteboard and then we have other settings here that you can just go ahead and over here is to end or leave the meeting if you want to end it you can just tap here to end it so um, that is it and when you check on the right hand side here uh, you see the this one is to show participant there this is to what a chat with everyone so when you go there you see the chat panel you can send out a message to everyone and then you move on and this is to what look at the activities that is going on so in a meeting so basically that is how you can schedule a meeting in google meet go through and then try one yourself i, I know that your next meeting you'll be using google meet so let me hear from you in the comment section if you don't understand anything uh, let me know i'll be there to help you thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to this channel if you are new here and then share this video see you in my next video Bye bye